Hey guys, Leo Adams coming at you with another video, the seven best ways to market your drone business and get new clients. Let's get started. So we all know getting new clients is not an easy thing to do. Um, so you got to have multiple channels to use for marketing and business development. So, you know, what are those top methods that you can use? So number one is cold calling or cold emailing your target market. I know what you're thinking, so it has a bad connotation. People don't love, love to cold call. It can be scary or, you know, feel like an old school marketing tactic that's kind of getting outdated. But I'll tell you, it works, especially when you're new to the industry and trying to break into a new vertical. This is a, an easy way for you to prospect leads and, and target specific people that you think could benefit from your service. So get over that fear of failing or, or embarrassment or, or whatever the case is and, you know, get your message out there. That's one of the the tools in, in your in your marketing toolkit for you to, to leverage. So um, again, particularly important if you're just getting started or trying to break into a new vertical. Number two, attending networking or industry specific events. You know, this is huge. Uh, when you start to get that personal touch, whether it's digitally versus, you know, talking to somebody on a video call or, you know, actually being face to face with somebody in person as much as possible during the COVID era that, that we're in. Uh, when there are in-person events that goes a long way to developing that connection you know building a relationship that is going to really help you secure work from from perhaps prospective clients so um, definitely do everything you can to you know go hang out where the people you want to meet are hanging out you know digitally or in person so do research find you know different uh, events um, you know talks you know networking events you know whatever the case is try to find a way to get out there and meet people face to face. Number three is conducting demos or even pro bono work to build your portfolio. So you hear about the free to fee model. You know, some people hate it. You know, other people uh, really attribute it to a lot of their success and you know, their drone business. I personally think that it could be a valuable tool, uh, but it really depends on how you are utilizing it, right? So if you, you know, are able to set expectations with your customer that this is you know low cost or you know free proof of concept afterwards if you know you're able to prove the value um, of your service that this is going to be the anticipated cost um, or fee structure so that way you kind of get ahead of the ball before you do any work and you set expectations and anchor expectations with your you know prospect this is what it's going to cost um, moving forward and you know i just want to make sure i can prove this value to you and then once that is the case um, and you know you know that you can benefit from this service uh, this is going to be the cost and then you can get you know a sense of their reaction does it even fit their budgets and expectations or is doing that pro bono work a waste of time? It might not be if even if the customer is not interested in a more longer term relationship with you because it's an opportunity to build your portfolio. Your portfolio is a huge sales tool that you need to leverage, bring customers and prospects through your sales funnel and to be able to, to show value to them. Um, especially if you're not using this, you know, free to fee model or pro bono work or low cost work. Uh, number four is creating a strong website and social media presence. I mean, I, I feel like most of you guys know this. This is a huge thing. You know, when you talk to a prospect, pitch your service, what's the first thing they're going to do? They're going to look at your website, look at your social profiles, try to get a sense of who you are, what your company is, uh, what, what you guys do and uh, the value you, you can provide and, and look, look at that presence on that web presence as something that kind of build credibility in your sales uh, conversations with, with that customer, right? So go look at your social profiles, your website, make sure it, it lines up with, you know, what your value proposition is so that, you know, as soon as the customer sees that website or, or your social links, they know exactly what you're offering. They know the value you can bring. Um, and ultimately it does a good job of highlighting your experience and your skill set. Number five, is networking with existing contacts and asking for referrals. This is huge. This is probably one of the biggest uh, reasons that I, I personally and for Skylink, we have found new business is just networking with people that we know, existing connections. I'm using my network to connect with different people. Um, and sometimes that person in my direct connection does not actually have any work but they're able to make another introduction. So kind of following those different networking points that you have, asking who can you you know, help connect me with? Um, I, I find as well, if you're able to help make connections um, and provide value to your connections, 
then they're much more willing to, to make introductions for you. So it is a two-sided relationship. You definitely have to offer value on your end connection as well. A lot of the time, chances are that, you know, your ideal customer knows people exactly like them, you know, similar people hang out with similar people. So uh, if you can ask for referrals, that is going to create new opportunities and open new doors for you. All right, number six, we have Google and Facebook ads. So digital marketing, I think this is, you guys you know, understand the concept of, of Google and Facebook ads. So we're not gonna dive into the detail. We don't, you know, that's not part of the scope of this video, but obviously this is, is huge. It, it allows you to really target, you know, obviously by keywords on Google or specific demographics, job titles or interests on Facebook. Um, so this could be a huge way to get your message out to the people that you want the message out too and so you know segmenting for different services or, or industries or verticals um, and really getting your ad and your message in front of the right people with a really targeted approach so that's that's an awesome one definitely explore that more and then number seven is drone pilot networks you know like it or not drone pilot networks are a really good way, opportunity for drone pilots to get experience and get you know new business that they wouldn't have access to uh, had they not joined that, that drone pilot network or made that connection. I mean, this is another networking tool that you have. You don't wanna rely on it as your sole sur source of income. If you join a pilot network, don't expect it to be you know 100% of your revenue, but it is an opportunity for you to make additional income. It is an opportunity for you to get experience in a certain type of mission or, or you know, service that you might not have much experience in, but you're looking to dive into. Um, so there's a lot of great learning opportunities as well as business and project opportunities to be found. So, well, that's it guys. Those are the seven best ways to market your drone business and get new clients. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please drop a like, please subscribe to the channel. We've got lots of new videos um, and, and more information coming out uh, that we think you will find valuable and, and helpful. So thanks so much for watching, really appreciate it. And don't forget, it's time to elevate.